and what is education technology brick and mortar universities and technical colleges or are we going beyond that into ai that's the next one ee lankata thiyenne good teachers whether it's post graduate or whether it's universities or schools you must have good teachers how do you equip them for that those are the key ones without which we can't go ahead with education system now we have 13 years of education can we keep all students in the schools for 13 years is cheaper than putting them out onto the road international schools or private schools are the same that there is no difference so you must have a but then all of them must be registered so all schools government and private must set the same standards so we have to set up a inspectorate without inspectorate you can't have a school system all exams must be held on a given date you can't have more than 6 months waiting for results within that next day you must go to the university or resit for the exam if you have a skilled and a good labor force you haven't got to worry about anything else second is also region knowledge and human resource hub we will also have to bring a law on classroom size 40 and then maybe reduced to 30 england is 25 now so we must work at least on to 30 within a short time we will have a labor shortage but there will be labor shortages in some of the asian countries plus in others completely in east asia so the idea is that we go on full automation within 10 years time so that we will have automated highly skilled even automated labor force working up to 70 one 65 or 70 which will offset the fact that they have that india has excess of labor for the simple reason china and all which is a manufacturing uh, hub will automate so if they all automate the cheapest salaries will be in sri lanka so let's move it quickly that we become the automated manufacturing center in the region plus of course i moved towards high value agriculture 